welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the news today. Vitaly Kim, head of the regional administration uh, in the southern Ukrainian cities of uh, Mykolaiv, says there is a standoff between Ukrainians and Russian troops around the city. We don't shut anymore. They do not shut, uh, he said on his um, Telegram account. Kim said the Russian had um, left the military airfield but uh, were still right near the city. In general, not a fun situation. Uh, they seem to be here, but it seems like they are not in the city. Sometimes they should uh, protect themselves, he said. I can't call it a victory because the enemy was, uh, were not uh, knocked down, uh, not burned, they are re retreated, he continued. Earlier on Friday, Kim said Russian forces had been uh, driven down uh, of the city. We uh, kicked them out a uh, bit, but the fighting goes on, he said. But they are on the uh, outskirts now. We kicked uh, uh, them out of the city. The White House is uh, assessing the impact of uh, cutting off U.S. consumption of uh, Russian oil. The White House is uh, assessing the impact of uh, cutting off of uh, Russian oil. Council of uh, Economic Advisor Chair uh, Cecilia Rose told uh, reporters at a uh, Friday news briefing, we are looking at an uh, option that we can take right now. If we were to cut the uh, U.S. consumption of Russian energy, but what's really most important is that we maintain a uh, steady supply of global energy, she said. White House White uh, Rose said the U.S. doesn't import a lot of uh, Russian oil. She added that energy is uh, the global market and uh, we do not want to uh, disrupt that market. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.